really listen to the question because what happens is I think people are they're done with their speech they're you know they're like oh phew you know finished and they don't listen to the question one of the most annoying things I find is when speakers don't answer questions it's different for a press conference because at a press conference I tell people make sure you know the three points you want to say and then take whatever question it is and turn it into that um, different for if you're doing a speech I think you do have to give the audience the respect of answering their question and so taking a moment I think it's never a bad idea to well first of all listen to the question and then it's never a bad idea to take a moment to absorb the question um, I will often say you know that's a great question or I've never you know I haven't really thought about that but here's my impression um, because again, I think it's good for the audience to see you as a, as a human being who's also very knowledgeable about the subject. Um, we don't really have to, as, as speakers, once we establish our authority and our knowledge, we don't have to keep establishing it. And it's actually, once you have it, you can afford to take a step back and sort of, you know, really give a thoughtful answer to a question. Limit those answers, you know, some speakers go on for 40 minutes with a question and it's just we're not modeling good behavior for the questioners <laughs> you know um, so I try to think about I tend to talk in threes so I try to think about two or three things that I want to say in response to a question and then I just start responding and I like answering in the moment I'm good at that I enjoy it it comes very naturally to me and I can condense things into a short period of time, you know, short sentences.